Landmines. Landmines are products of wars and conflict, which remain long after the fighting has stopped. This can be a huge problem for civilians and especially children that may wander off. In 2020 alone, there were over 7,000 casualties due to landmines. Landmines can be tucked away into the ground waiting for a person to apply pressure. These mines are in developing countries that have little resources to clear out the minefields. Both Afghanistan and Cambodia could double their agricultural production if landmines were eliminated. Charities such as Sir Bobby Cholton Foundation have projects that aim to support humanitarian development assistance to those caught up in current conflicts and long-term development challenges with legacy of past wars. The University of Manchester is one of the partners of this charity and for this project, Sir Bobby Cholton Foundation is the industrial involvement. To clear out the minefields, firstly, once the minefield has been marked, the vegetation or any debris is removed from the surface. Then trained professionals walk over the land carefully using a metal detector to mark out the areas where the suspected landmines can be. Once this has been done, trained personnel excavate the mine carefully as to not set it off. Once the mine has been confirmed with visual confirmation, various methods can be used to eliminate it. The excavation part of the process is one that takes the longest, up to 40 minutes. This project aims to reduce that time and increase the safety of people working. The aim for this project, derived from the project proposal, was to create a portable semi-autonomous robotic system that is able to excavate and detect a mine using image processing when placed onto a marker where a landmine has been detected using a metal detector. Current methods can be expensive, large and require intensive training. This robot needs to weigh under 20 kilograms and should cost under 1500 pounds. These aims and objectives were successfully achieved by the group. The robotic system that was developed by the group consisted of a rotating chassis with handles for portability and for stability of the robot when weight is added onto them. The robotic system consists of different subsystems such as robotic arm, rapid excavator drill, the power subsystem, the embedded subsystem and the image processing system. The chassis contains a rapid excavator drill that is able to remove any access debris from the ground. The drill was able to successfully create a trench required in seconds. Since the drill is able to have variable speed, it is able to adjust for different soil types. The chassis will then rotate 180 degrees allowing the robotic arm to carry out the scraping of the trench wall to slowly expose the side of the mine. Various different end effectors were tested to determine the best one to expose the landmine safely and the quickest. Stress tests were also carried out on the chassis to determine the forces that it would be subject to. Once the landmine has been seen, this would be detected by the onboard camera and the robot will come to a halt. Here the image processing takes over, where the model has been trained with various pictures of the landmine. It is able to detect and identify the landmine. The model was also trained, tested and optimized to ensure that the camera is able to detect the landmine in various different scenarios. The whole system has been made such that it can be controlled using a web application which is being hosted on a Raspberry Pi using ROS libraries. The Raspberry Pi is the embedded system and is controlling the operation of the robotic arm and the rapid excavator drill. The web application allows for the user to be stood at a safe distance away and operate the robot. The user can deploy the semi-autonomous feature from the website or fully control the robot manually. The web application is accessed wirelessly and is able to display the image of the cameras. The robotic arm and the excavator drill have their own power source. A PCB was made to monitor the battery levels and to act as a charger for the onboard batteries for the excavator drill and the robotic arm. Tests were carried out to ensure that the batteries provide sufficient power to each component. This robot will be able to benefit the Sir Bobby Cholton Foundation as it can be made using cheap parts and has a modular structure. This means that if a component was to malfunction during the operation, then the whole robot does not need to be replaced. The robot also has been designed with the consideration that the operation and repair will need to be done with the resources available in a developing country. Further works, more durable materials can be used. Wheels can be added for mobility with navigation algorithms and a more advanced battery system can be implemented that only requires one battery to power the whole system. That concludes the video for Team 9, Telerobotic Excavator for Humanitarian Demining.